Hey everyone, as promised, here is the second half of my epic spring Walmart haul. Stay tuned to the end because after all the fashion stuff, I have some really good home finds. And an update from last Sunday's video, I have already seen restocks happening. So do not give up if the exact piece you want and the color and size is not currently available. They're restocking. So much so that someone had left a comment on an Instagram post telling me the jeans I was wearing was out of stock. I went to look, not only were they restocked, they added a color and I'm wearing them in this video. Like they already got here. The second update is a few of you have been asking me to give more info on fabric content, inseam lengths, and all that. We have a lot to get through here and I know that you are really busy, so I don't wanna waste your time. What I like to focus on in these videos is the things that you cannot get from going to the website and reading further. How does it fit? How does it feel? How does it look on a real human being who is moving around? If you want more information on fabric content, inseams, sizing, that is what the links are. The links aren't just so that I hope that you go and shop. It's so that you go and look and really understand what it is that I'm sharing with you and you make sure that that's what you want to get. I do not wait, want you wasting your time or more importantly, your money. So with that being said, we have a lot of pieces to get through. I know I'm talking quickly. That might also be because I am hyped up on allergy and cold medicine again. So forgive me if I sound a little bit frenetic. Per usual, I will have everything numbered somewhere up there so that it is easy to follow along in the description box. Also pinned to the top of the comments. Also QR code over here and I'll pop it up again at the end of the video. Are we ready? Let's start with tops. I love a scuba knit fabric. My favorite is actually this one right here and this is from Spanx. This is not from Walmart and everything I'm wearing like my makeup and everything you can see here is listed at the very end of the description box. It's a lot of scrolling but it's there if you're curious about earrings, lipstick, what foundation, what this is, all that kind of thing. But this is very expensive from Spanx even with my discount code. So I'm thrilled that Walmart a few times a year releases new scuba knit pieces specifically from their scoop line. And this was a recent re-release. This is their scuba knit V-neck sweatshirt. And I want you to see it not worn as a set with other scuba pieces. So I've listed underneath each item, the things that I'm showing it with. And we'll talk more about the pieces that are part of this haul when I get to that item. This comes in a variety of colors. I would say scoop sizing and free assembly sizing for me is very consistent once you know what size you are. And I feel like both of those lines, I wouldn't say run a full size big, but they're very generous. So if you're not sure when you look at the size chart where you fall, I always recommend sizing down one. So for me across the board, I am a size extra small in scoop and in free assembly when those sizes are available. I should also point out that both of those lines also have extended sizing, some in double XL, some all the way into triple XL. Anyway, back to this scuba knit V-neck sweatshirt. It would look great as a set, but I also want you to see that just because of the way this is cut, with the ribbing basically around the opening and the fold back cuffs. It looks a little more elegant. It just depends on the piece that you pair it with. This next top I have shared recently over on Instagram and it was a big favorite over there. This is a cotton viscose blend sweater. It comes in some solids as well. I love the blue and white stripe though. The buttons on the side are actually functional. I don't know why you would want to open them, but I'm just letting you know that they are there. It comes in a pale pink, white and bright yellow as well. It is the perfect transition into spring sweater and I am partial to the blue and white stripe. I feel it gives a sort of preppy cool vibe that we're seeing a lot and it's an easy way to incorporate that into your transitional wardrobe, I'd say. This next top is great for those of you that really struggle with the front tuck or just tucking in in general and you don't wanna deal with a bodysuit. This comes, it's sort of like a little knot folded under already, like that's just how it goes. And so it buttons, but it obviously doesn't unbutton all the way because of the way it's gathered. It also comes in black. This could be paired with a dressier pair of pants, something that you could wear to work, throw a blazer over. I wanted to show it to you a little bit different, paired with some very casual jeans and some heels. It's more of a date night going out look. So it's a versatile piece. I recommend folding back the cuffs. I just like how that looks. You do not have to do that. And it's a really nice silky feel. I will say, I think it ends at my true waist. So I would recommend pairing this with something on the higher waisted side when you raise your arms, just in case 
you don't want any skin to show. For those of you who are looking for a 100% cotton top, here is one for you. This is a really cute little puff sleeve top with a square neckline, and it comes in quite a few colors, blue and white stripe, solid white, black, yellow, and then this pretty pink color. It's like I said, 100% cotton. I just want you to be aware of the square neck so that you wear maybe thinner bra straps that are wider set. If you're curious, I will link the bra that I wear pretty much every day. Been getting a lot of questions about my undergarments lately. And so I will link the two bras actually that I wear the most, but it's this one here has thinner straps and they're set a little bit wider. So it'll accommodate tops like this. I think this top is great going into springtime. It will look great with white denim, with regular denim, joggers paired with a skirt. It's a real nice first little piece. And I like the Christmas of the fabric. Here we have another of the scoop scuba knit pieces. This is more of a funnel neck, so a little more casual. I've paired it with jeans. I do have the matching kind of jogger pants that go with it, but I just wanna remind you, just because maybe you bought something intending it to be worn as a set, doesn't mean it has to stay that way. We wanna get the most out of our purchases, whether they're Walmart or Spanx. And so I think this looks really great with jeans, probably leggings as well. If you want a more oversized fit, I would recommend going with your regular size. And most things I'm normally a size small. In this case, I'm wearing an extra small. Like I said, I think these scuba pieces in particular run pretty big. Top number six is the ultimate basic and possibly my favorite purchase. And I'm saying this because it's easy to find the statement pieces, the one of a kind pieces, maybe something in a really bright color or a really cool silhouette, but we often overlook the basics. And when I got this shirt in the mail, oh, it is a slub texture, short sleeve tee. It comes in so many colors. I wanna go back and pot, I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna buy every color, but I'm gonna buy all the neutrals. And why? Because it's $5.98. So not only is it an amazing texture, it drapes beautifully, it is under $6. It starts at size small and goes up from there. And I've had these before from Walmart. They tend to issue them year after year. They hold up incredibly well. Top number seven. We'll talk about the pants when we get to the pants section. This is a re-release. This is from the Scoop line. It's a plissé fabric. They're calling it crinkle knit. I love this. I think it is beautiful. I think it is a really versatile top. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it with the matching pants. It comes in black. It comes in the hot pink. But there are some caveats. The top runs, it's a tunic length. So it runs long. It's not meant to be tucked in when you wear it with the pants, but you can, absolutely. I've seen people wear it with like a really pretty gold chain belt even, but the sleeves are very long. They remind me of almost like those fingertip length sleeves that used to be very on trend. Some of you may not mind it. Some of you, it may drive you crazy. So I want you to be aware of it before you just add it to cart and run. Rolling up is tricky because of the fabric. You can scrunch it up. I'm just letting you know if long sleeve lengths make you crazy, skip this top. But I think the set together in this case is fantastic. And I will say this has to be the most travel friendly garment I've ever seen because of the nature of the fabric. It's not going to wrinkle. Whether you're sitting in it all day on a plane, train, or automobile, or you pack it in your suitcase, it's gonna come straight out of the suitcase or straight off the plane and you are good to go. And then the last top that I'm gonna share with you is an update on the dolman sleeve tee that I shared last week. I had shared it with you in size small and I was a little curious because normally I'm in an extra small in these clothes. So I went ahead and ordered a different color in the extra small. And I think I would just go with your true size on this one. If you are busty. So under this sweatshirt are some 34 Ds. And while the fabric is fine on the sides and the length is good, it comes a little short when it's covering up on the sides and it's got pretty wide armholes. So even with the small, you're gonna see some bra. Again, something you need to know. If that bothers you, skip it. The way it spreads, it wasn't pulling, but the fabric just stopped a little bit short of where I would like to have it come all the way around the sides and given some more coverage. So I love this top. I love how it drapes. I'm really pleased with the small. I'm gonna keep the extra small. I'll probably just wear a black bra under it just for a little edgier look. It doesn't matter if it's a $5 tee or a $500 sweater. I don't want you wasting your time and money getting something that is not gonna work for you. Okay, let's jump into pants. So the first pair of pants, number nine, if you are counting along with our numbered items, is probably meant to be worn with the matching jacket, which we'll talk about later. I am so excited, I've said it before, I wanna say it again. I'm so pleased that Walmart is coming out with suiting separates with more sort of traditional office type fashion because affordable fashion is needed in all aspects. You know, the fancy getting, going out stuff, the everyday wear, but I think especially, and I'm really aware of this now as my kids are entering the workforce, when you're just starting out and you need to build a wardrobe, you need affordable 
work options. So I'm really pleased to see them coming out with more work appropriate items. These pants and the matching jacket also come in black and minty green. I think they're a great inseam length for me. I'm five foot four. I usually prefer a more petite length. These aren't dragging on the ground, so I can wear them with heels, but I can also wear them with a lower heel. I don't need a super high heel to wear these, like some of the other pants I'm gonna share in a moment. I'd say they run true to size based on their sizing chart. So if you're not sure where you size on these, definitely check through the link that I have for you in all the places we mentioned before. So you've seen these jeans a ton and your eyes do not deceive you. I have two of the same pair. One is more distressed and a little bit lighter and one is not distressed, I think in a little bit darker. It might go the other way around, I can't remember. These are the ones that a bunch of people are saying it's out of stock and as soon as I saw the comment, I went and checked and lo and behold, restocked where I am. So that's why I tell y'all, please do not leave that comment. It's out of stock because right after you post that, they may do a whole restock or it's out of stock on the north side of town but it's in stock on the south side of town if you look at the website. Website. I know these are not for everyone. I've purchased them before. If they look familiar, they tend to release them every year or so. I love a big cuff on a jean and why I love these the most is it's not real. It's not that they took the extra material and folded it up and made a big thick cuff. It's almost like they just cut the jean at, you know, just at the mid calf level and then sewed on the bottom half inside out with the seam showing. So it's just the thin fabric all the way through. There's no bulk added to the lower half of your leg. They are very generously fit. Again, if you are not sure, size down one, and I throw mine in the wash and I throw mine in the dryer. They have a good amount of stretch too. I saw these on the website. I thought, well, give them, give these a try. I don't think I'm gonna like them. I was pleasantly surprised. I love these pants. I've already worn them out and about. They are my favorites going into spring pants. These also come in an olive green. I love the contrasting stitching. I love the pocket placement. These are, I would say a cotton blend. They almost have a cotton poplin feel to them. I did have to steam them. But then as I wore them throughout the day, I did not see them wrinkling. I love these. I think they're a really nice flattering fit. They have a button uh, closure and zip in the front, but there's elastic along the waist. So very forgiving. They're the perfect length, again, for my height. I could wear these with flats and they end at the perfect length, but I can also pair them with some stacked sandals or heels as we move into warmer weather. And Rowdy got, I think, some drool on the legs if you're seeing some discoloring on those. He was very excited about these as well. I have another pair of cargo pants to share with you. These are pull-on, they have elastic all the way around, but they also have belt loops, which I really appreciate if you wanna kind of cover up some of that elastic. These are so incredibly comfortable. I love the way they drape. They do run long. I did need to wear heels with these so they weren't dragging on the ground. Definitely gonna wear them into the summer with more of a stacked sandal type heel. They also come in black. I'm gonna tell you right now, I will probably purchase those as well. I think they're just so versatile. When you wanna look a little more put together but you're really just rolling out the door in a t-shirt, these are the pants that you need. And for those of you interested in the fabric, I think one of the reasons why I'm so excited about these is it's a viscose blend. So that's why they drape so beautifully. All right, we're on to Lucky 13. Not so lucky for these pants. These are the crinkle knit or please save fabric pants that you saw earlier with the matching top. These suckers are long. Now, the nature of the fabric and those long vertical lines make your legs look really long to begin with. So it's a very flattering cut and drape but they are long. So if any tall girls are watching, I know I have some and they're always complaining that everything runs too short, you need these pants. You're gonna love them, get all the colors. If you're, I would say 5'5 five, five or shorter, plan on heels or get them hemmed. Either way, these are very, very long. I wish they had some different inseam lengths on these because I would love to wear them with a flat, but because they're only $22, I really don't mind spending a little money and getting them hemmed so I have some more options on how to wear them. Now we're moving on to jackets and blazers. And this first jacket, honestly, it's a coat I'm so excited about. This is from Scoop and it's, they're calling it an anorak long jacket. I'm here to tell you it's a raincoat. I love it. It also comes in black and minty green, but I love it in this beige. So to me, it looks a little bit like a raincoat trench. It does have the nice drawstring at the waist. It runs a little bit longer in the back. So you don't really have to worry about things splashing and hitting the back of your legs. The fabric has a reflective quality to it. I love that the hood actually has a drawstring. So if it's windy, it's not gonna blow off. I think it is an essential spring piece. I think pretty much no matter where you live, you should expect some spring rains. And this is really nice to have because it's a little bit 
casual because of the material, but because of its length, it's gonna work great with dresses and more dressy items and you will stay dry, but it's really lightweight as well. So you're not gonna get overheated while you're in it. I have a couple of blazers to share with you. You already saw this scrunch sleeve blazer from Scoop. Now this is not Scoop in it. It is from Scoop and they have another scrunch sleeve blazer. So I don't want this to be confused. This is more of a suiting crepe like fabric. So it feels heavier. It's a little more formal. It stays scrunched. You can't unscrunch it. And again, it also comes in black and that mint green. It's a really, really beautiful blazer lot or jacket lined. I came out to film it in B roll and my husband asked, Are you, is that from Nordstrom? I thought we were doing a Walmart haul. So it looks really nicely made. If you're keeping track, we are on item number 16 and this denim or chambray really blazer is another, I think, essential spring moving into summer piece because it is extremely lightweight. It is almost like it is a chambray shirt that was made into a blazer form. It has a little more structure than a shirt. It's not lined, it's very lightweight and it's this beautiful neutral color that goes with all the things. And if you're like me and you're out and about during the summer and it's 100 50 degrees outside and you're dying of the heat. So you want to wear sleeveless or very lightweight. And then you go inside to an office building or a store and they keep the AC set at 55 degrees and you can hang meat. You need something you could keep in your car, have at hand to throw on for the, the air conditioned frozen tundra that you can then wear to the car and not die of heat stroke. This is the piece that you need. I would say that it runs big. So again, I'm sticking with the extra smalls pretty much across the board. I like that you can roll up the sleeves. It's not a major piece, but it's I think a piece that, well, like I said, it'll look good thrown over shorts and a t-shirt over a longer dress. It's something I would wear in lieu of a lightweight spring or summer jacket. And then the last jacket that I have to share with you is another update because if it looks familiar, yes, I've hauled this before in a size up. I got the small last time in more of a mushroom color and then I ordered the extra small in the pink. I wanted you to see the difference. And yes, if you're not sure, I would say size down. I think it is very generously sized. There's plenty of room even for my chest and lots of room on the sides. I like it draped over the shoulders. I know it looks a little precious that way, but it does sit nicely. But if you do want to wear it like a normal jacket, which I think is the better play, it does fit nicely. It zips easily. I like the pocket placement. I love the pale pink. I think it is almost neutral in the way that it is colored and it has a nice way to it. Yes, of course, I enjoy buying things for their decorative part, but I like functionality and so if you still need, I wouldn't say super heavy, but a spring jacket with some weight to it, this is a nice option. So sticking with this outfit, let's talk about some skirts and dresses and we're still going faux leather. This is a faux leather pleated midi skirt, a little longer length, also comes in black, has a nice side zip. Leather is really in for spring. I've seen a ton of leather and faux leather pieces. Scoop even released a leather trench coat that I've heard is amazing. It was one of the few things I didn't order. I just kind of hit my limit with jackets. I think because of the longer length and the heavier material and all the pleats, I would just accessorize the skirt with a very simple sweater or a very simple t-shirt. It doesn't need a lot. You can wear sneakers with it and do that cool girl street style look. You could wear heels with it, dress it up for a little more of a funkier office outfit. I think it has a lot of really good options. And I also think that leather pleated midi skirts come back around all the time because I am thinking very clearly of a similar one that I had actually as part of a dress in 2017, 2018, maybe even 2016. So these pieces do stick around for a while. This next skirt, I just saw it on the website and I saw this color and I just thought it was so exquisite. It's sort of a silvery gray. It's not metallic. It also comes in a bright pink and a purple floral if you want that. But the way this moved in real life, it's so pretty. It's an interesting color. It's a tricky color, I think, to accessorize with. So I would stick with cool tone neutrals with this one. I love the seaming on it. And I love that it's an actual elastic waist all the way around, but it's a flat elastic waist. So you can tuck things in, but because it's satin, it's not the most forgiving. So I'm wearing it actually with that crinkle top and I tried to bl blouse it out. But if you look not all that closely, you can see sort of the bumps of the fabric underneath it. I think that if you wanna tuck something in with this skirt, you're best to do the trick where you tuck it into your bra or you do the elastic bands. I got quite a few of those on Amazon. I'll link it um, underneath this 
this skirt where you put the band around your waist and then you blouse it out through that so you don't actually have to tuck it in. But I just think this is so beautiful. I think depending on what you could pair it with a, like you could wear it to a wedding, it's really pretty. And again, if you like that dichotomy of formal and informal, a t-shirt, a denim jacket, and some white sneakers is a totally other look that you could pull off with this skirt. I have two dresses to share with you and I think these are great easy spring dresses. And I also think if you're a teacher, these are really good teacher dresses. The first one is a utility shirt dress and it buttons just to the waist. So it's not a true all the way shirt dress, but I think that's better if you have to possibly kneel down or get on the floor, you don't have to worry about the buttons gaping or anything. It has a built-in drawstring waist, has the shirt collar. You can wear the sleeves full length. They have button cuffs or they have a nice little button tab. So you can roll the sleeves up and you don't have to worry about them unrolling. I love the pocket placement and it's just a cute, fun little spring dress. Again, you could easily wear this with white sneakers for a totally different look. And then the other dress that I wanna share is very similar. It is also a button front drawstring waist. This one I'm wearing in what they're calling light acid wash, which I love seeing that come back. It also comes in black, pale pink, and an olive green, if this look is not for you. It's more of a banded collar with a V-neck elastic cuff. So if you wanna pull them up, they're gonna stay where you put them. And I really like the pocket placement as well. And I like on this dress, and I believe the previous one, they both also had a little notch on the side to make the movement a little more interesting around the legs. I had one accessory to share with you. This is one of my top sellers from last year, released in this new color. It is a crossbody bag. The strap is removable. They just kind of lightened it up for spring. It has the nice open flat pocket here with a magnetic snap. The top carry handle, it looks super expensive. It's from Walmart, so we know it is not. And I'm glad to see it in this newer color. I did have a few home finds and I just want to run through them very quickly because I love, like. Everywhere I look, I see Walmart in my house. So I'm a true fan. So the first is a new throw blanket for spring. It's a chenille weight, so very lightweight. Does get chilly sometimes in the spring, again with the air conditioning. So I am draping that over my new swivel chair. I love this chair. It again comes in and out of stock. It also comes in gray. The fabric is very, I would say pet friendly. It came all in one piece. I didn't have to put it together and it just fits my family room so much better than the larger chair that we had there before. I've been playing around with the foyer table in my front entry and my Texas house had released these hobnail lamps in two sizes and I actually have the taller size in the foyer and then I don't think you can see it but I have this shorter one sitting on my kitchen counter. It's just a really pretty neutral and I've seen similar lamps for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and this one is just under 60 which is a really good price point for what it is. I love adding faux flowers that are seasonally appropriate. So this new arrangement with the hydrangeas and the kind of rattan vase that comes with it was an instant pick. It's one of my favorite colors. It looks really pretty and it just, it can go in so many places around the house. A few of you have seen me share these goblets over on Instagram and you can use them any way you want. I use them as everyday drinking glasses, water, milk, whatever it is that I am drinking. Of course, you could use this for an adult beverage. I would say they are a good size to almost use as like a parfait glass or for ice cream and even as a vase. It's entirely up to you. They come in a set of four and I believe there is a color version. If it's green or blue, I can't remember, but I went for the clear. I often get asked about the painting that is over my bed and I had initially bought that at a boutique in Mississippi. Apparently, it's from a large larger manufacturer because now it is on the Walmart website. A little easier to get than from a small boutique in Mississippi, so I wanted to link that for you as well. Another thing that is now on the Walmart website, they've added a whole new line of decor, like a whole other supplier, and there's all this stuff on there that I have seen at Home Goods or other little boutiques that I'm now seeing on the Walmart website, which is kind of exciting. These decorative mother of pearl boxes, there's a few options, but the one that we have, we keep it on our media cabinet. It houses remote controls and just the random things you don't know where to shove, you shove it in that box and the box looks pretty and then nobody needs to see the mess that's inside it. And then lastly, I had shared in my favorites video earlier that I was trying to replicate a faux floral arrangement that I had seen on the Pottery Barn website and I thought I could, I could do this. And I did. I used one of the ribbed ceramic planters that I already have from Walmart. So the planter's not the same. Found some daffodils, some faux daffodils on Amazon. I'll link those below. And then I ordered on the Walmart website 
the, the foam, styrofoam block and some decorative floral rocks. And I just stuck the daffodils in and threw the rocks over. And I think they're beautiful. Do they look exactly like real daffodils? No, but I don't see a marked difference between my, I don't know, $50 arrangement and the $300 plus arrangement on the Pottery Barn website. So I'm quite pleased with my little DIY. That is the end of my mega Walmart haul for February, unless they release more stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me. I know this got rather long, but so many good things and I want to make sure that you see all the things so you can pick what you love. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I cannot wait to hear what the standouts were for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.